Hello friends, I am Dr. Manisha Mittal, Gynecologist, Obstetrician and Infertility Specialist. Last episode, I talked about personal hygiene and I am going to talk about it about menses, which is a very common topic, but we are not aware of this thing. Our mothers and daughters are telling us something to tell us, something to tell us, something to tell us. So, for them, for their children, there is a general concept of menses that what happens with us and what we have to do in it. In today's generation, around 10 to 11 age group, menses start to be started. The first era was started in 13 to 16 age group, so the variation has gone down to 10 to 11 years of age with the females to the starting of menarche. Menarche is made of two things. One is to start menses and secondly, secondly, sexual characters should be developed, which is a very important component that we all miss. What are secondary sexual characters? Like breast development, hair growth, axillary hair growth, vulvar hair growth. These things are also very important in a female when they start their menses. What are menses? When a hormone level is up and down and the child's lining is made and there is no fertility or pregnancy, so, the lining is shed and bleeding. So, this is a normal phenomenon which happens in all the girls and it should be done because they will convert in pregnancy and menopause. Now, when menses start, there is always a variation. Maybe one month or two months or two months. Maybe one time and start and one year later. So, this the initial variation in menarche, that is a normal thing. So, we should not be very tense for that. So, the another variation is in the day variation. Variation in the menses means that two menses have so much difference. Some say that we come to the exact date, 30 days, 28 days. So, that variation can also be in someone who has 25 days, and in someone who has 35 days. So, that's why when the months are small, there is a less number of days. So, that's why when the months are small, there is a less number of days. So, sometimes they come after a month or two months. And when the months are big, it can also be that the months are two times in that month. So, for the rule out, we have a very easy way to rule out. That's just an app. So, this app is a menstrual app you can download on the phone. You can also mark your date. And how long it has flowed. So, every month, there are no dates in that month. So, the dates are registered in that month. You need not remember it. If you can't do it, see a doctor, he will calculate that this variation may be 25 days or 35 days or 40 days. So it may be a regular cycle which you are thinking about in your mind irregular or hormonal problems. So with this variation and routine dating, we can come to know that this is a regular cycle or an irregular cycle. If there is an irregular cycle, so you have to definitely see your doctor so that he can rule out that you have any internal hormonal problem or any structural problem. Hormonal problems from blood tests we can vary out, we can calculate what's the problem. But some of the structural problems are also there, so I will tell you in another episode of the details. But what are the structural problems? Maybe in uterus there is a defect, maybe in tubes, maybe in ovaries. This is why you can be irregular with your menstruation. So, both these things you should rule out. Now, coming to your marriage age group. In the marriage age group, in the initial few months, we can say there can be a disturbed menses because when relations are in, there is a flush of hormones in female and that's why there can be mild irregularity in hormones. But it's always good if you again date your menses. Then coming to your delivery part. After delivery, there is always an irregularity in menses. Some regularly after delivery, maybe after a month's time, their menses start to start. Some of them have to start for 10 months or for a year. These variations are all different from all women. But what we have to be particular about is contraception. Because if we think about that time period, we don't have to be pregnant, then it doesn't mean that we won't be pregnant. It doesn't happen like that. During the post-delivery period, there is ovulation. It means that the egg is being made. But the chances of the menses are less reduced because there is a hormone produced due to breastfeeding, which decreases the menses flow. 
तो बहुत सारी फीमेल्स ड्यूरिंग द लेक्टेशन पीरियड लेक्टेशन मतलब दूध पिलाने के टाइम बच्चे को दूध पिलाने के टाइम में प्रेग्नेंट हो जाती हैं और उनको पता भी नहीं चलता है सो दिस इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग कि हमें उस पीरियड में अगर मैंसेज आ भी नहीं रहे हैं तब भी यू हैव टू यूज कॉन्ट्रासेप्शन Now coming to the menopausal age group. Menopausal age group में again there is a variation in menses. It can be बहुत बहुत high bleeding भी हो सकती है बहुत कम bleeding भी हो सकती है और धीरे धीरे decrease भी हो सकता है या एकदम से बंद भी हो सकते हैं ये क्यों होता है क्योंकि फीमेल हारमोन्स इस स्टेज पे आके बंद हो जाते हैं और हमारे जो अंडे दानी है उसमें एग्स सारे खत्म हो चुके होते हैं तो उसके कारण देर कैन बी लॉर्ड ऑफ वेरिएशन इन द ब्लीडिंग पैटर्न एंड फॉर दिस यू शुड डेफिनेटली सी अ डॉक्टर जो कि आपकी हारमोनल प्रोफाइल कैलकुलेट करके विल टेल यू कि आपके मीनोपोज स्ट्राइक होने वाला है मे बी ये सिर्फ उसके कारण इरेगुलरिटी है सो so, कुछ मेडिकेशन दे के हम आपका वो टाइम पीरियड निकाल देते हैं उसके बाद ऑब्वियसली मेन्सेज बंद हो जाते हैं सो द टेक होम मैसेज ऑफ दिस एपिसोड इज डेटिंग योर मेन्सेज Use the menstrual app and always date it. Always write what date your menses start because that is very important. And उसका रोल मैं आपको next episode में बताऊंगी जिसमें मैं आपको cycle explain करूंगी और उसमें कौन से fertile days हैं और कौन से waste days हैं और किस में हमने contraception पर ज़्यादा ध्यान रखना है वो सारा details में explain करूंगी Thank you friends.